Hi everyone, it is so good to be with you through a video right now. Although I'm really sad I can't see your faces. Every time I see your faces, it just makes me smile. It makes me feel so good. But I can feel those smiles. And when I, when I think about all of our citizens and so many other people are part of BIG, it just makes me happy. And that, that's really important right now because I, I feel sad because we're not all together. Do you, some of you feel that way too? Still sad that we can't come and do our regular work at BIG? But that'll happen. That'll, that'll, that'll happen. It'll be okay. We'll be back at work again soon. But in the meantime, there's something really, really important I'd like for us to talk about just for a few minutes today. I, I love that uh, the Bible is just speaks to us in so many ways and offers encouragement at different times. And we've been hearing a lot of uh, maybe in sermons on, online and some of the devotionals. Uh, I love what Pastor Andy shared the other day about how we know that God's in control and that makes everything okay. And there's, there's something else though that the Bible says that I want us to talk about today that to me uh, br brings everything into just a, a whole new light. In Romans chapter 8, uh, in verse 28, uh, here's, here's what uh, Paul wrote. He said, and we know that God causes a few things to work together for the good of those who love God and are according to his, according to his purpose for them. Now, some of you maybe know the Bible and maybe you're reading your Bible right now, Romans 8, 28, and you know that's not what it says. I didn't read that right, did I? Does it say we know that God causes a few things to work together for good? That's not what it says. Oh, so let me, let me start over. And we know that God causes most things to work together for good. Did I get it right that time? Does it say God causes most things to work together? <laughs> That's not what it says, is it? Here's, here's what it really says. And we know that God causes everything. Could you say that with me? We know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. And I think that passage is really important to us because you have been called to God's purposes. God, God is using you at big to change the way the world thinks about adults with special needs and to just brighten our world in so many ways. And so God has this mission that he wants you as a citizen at big to fulfill. And I, and I like what this passage tells us about that mission. What I'm kind of hearing from this is that we don't have to just wait for everything to pass, all the, all the coronavirus stuff to end, and we, we get back at big, and then God will start using us. I don't think that's, that's the, the right way to think. Instead, what I hear from this passage is that God is not just going to help us endure this time, but God is going to work through this time that God works in everything for the good of those who love him, who've been called according to his purpose. He works in everything. So do you think God is working in this? Do you, do you think that God wants to accomplish something good through you, even during this time, that you don't have to wait until you get back to big for God to use you, that God will use you right now? I just, I love that idea that we're not just, you know, we're not just kind of sitting by and waiting and we're all sad because we're not at big. Instead, we're, we're kind of wondering, are there some things that God might do through me right now? Now, can you think of some things like that? Uh, if, if God is going to work through you during this time, and, you know, maybe you're at home, you're, you know, with family, wherever you are right now, how, how might God use you there? If God wants to accomplish some things through you right now, how might God use you during this time until you come back to big? Can you think of some things? You know, something that comes to my mind is uh, that maybe God could use you to encourage someone because you guys are so good at that. The citizens at big are the best people I know at encouraging other people. And so maybe there's someone that God wants you to encourage, someone who's a little bit afraid and they don't know that everything's gonna be okay. Or, or maybe they're just kind of frustrated or they're bored, whatever it might be, maybe God would use you to encourage them. 
Maybe some of us might could, maybe we could write a note to someone, to send a card to someone. We could call someone. We could send a text or, or FaceTime or any, any way that we can that we could, we could reach out to someone and just say, I just want to check on you and just want to encourage you and know that everything's going to be okay. Do you think there's someone that you could do that to? Maybe another citizen, maybe someone in your family, maybe, maybe one of your job supervisors who do such great work. Maybe somehow you could reach out to them and just, just let them know that you appreciate what they do. One of the things that we talk about in our men's group a lot is just what a great blessing it is when people say thank you. And so when we say thank you to our job supervisors or to our, our parents who are giving us a safe place to live or our siblings or grandparents, whoever we're with right now, when we just thank them, uh, that, that's a way that God might use you during this time. And so maybe you could kind of come up with some things after this video is over. Maybe you could talk to someone else and uh, maybe share some ideas. How might God use you to bless other people uh, during this time when we can't be at big? I just, I, you know, to me, it's God's big enough to do that. God can use all of us. And I think God can use you because you really have a lot to offer. I want you to know that, uh, that the, the people around you, the people at Big, we are so proud of you. And we, just, we love you so much. And you have so much to give to this world. And so we're not going to wait until we get back to Big for that to happen. We want to see you just contribute to, uh, to this world in the ways that God wants to use you, even during the time that you're away from Big. So I am praying for you and everyone. We're all praying for each other. And uh, maybe I could just close out our time uh, by doing that right now. Father, thank you so much for our wonderful, wonderful citizens and the ways that they uh, grow and, uh, and the ways that you use them. Uh, thank you for the love that they have for you and for each other. And uh, Father, I'm praying that you will uh, help us see that not only will you get us through this time when Big uh, isn't meeting and when, when the world is just kind of a little bit of a scary place right now, that you'll not just get us through that, but you'll work through that and you'll do some good things. And we, we just, we're raising our hands right now because we want you to use us. Uh, we, want, we want to sign up and we want you to use us to make this world a better place during this, this really scary time that we're going through. Uh, just thank you for everyone. Keep us all safe and healthy. And we look forward to being back again real soon. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, it's good to be with you. Look forward to seeing you in person real soon. Oh, one other thing real quick. Uh, several of you have been praying about my, uh, my knee surgery, and that went really, really well. And I'm doing much, much better. Still have a little bit of a ways to go, but I'm sure by the time we see each other, I'll be as good as new. So thank you for those prayers as well. Bye-bye.